Hey everybody, welcome to the new Madden Heaven demo. Uh, yeah, so I played Madden Heaven uh, last year at some point, and it was, woo it was great. Uh, yeah, it made it into my uh, Best Moments of 2016 montage. Yeah, uh, but they have a new demo out, and they also have a Kickstarter page. Uh, you can check that out, link is in the description. They are asking for $9,500. Uh, they have 30 days left, so I thought I would check out their new demo for it. Prologue. Uh, the story revolves around Michael Hill, a veteran of the United States military who recently came back from the front lines back to his hometown, Northwood Heights, USA. What state is that in? Uh, Michael has since been suffering from an extreme case of... Hallucinia. A type of psychological trauma that causes the mind to break from reality and construct an alter ego in order to cope with difficult and unwanted memories, which causes severe hallucinations. You know, I feel like there's probably like an actual mental illness that does these effects. Um, and you don't have to make one up called Hallucinia. Anyways, uh, due to the damaging effects of Hallucinia, Michael has been put on heavy medication in order to reduce the amount of hallucinations in order or in hopes of recovering from the trauma his mind has to endure. Uh, Michael lives in a two-story house that has been separated into two parts as he had to sell the top part in order to cover for his medical bills, as well as pay the remainder of his mortgage? So he sold half of his house? That don't make no goddamn sense. Uh, after several months of treatment, Michael is almost back to his normal self, despite the fact his, that his wife, Elizabeth, had left him, adding insult to injury, but he managed to pull through and is currently working as a subway station security guard in order to maintain a normal life and provide for himself. So he sold half of his house? That don't make no goddamn sense. Like, did he sell the upstairs? Whatever. Whatever. Was the inside of his eyelids? They are. Man. All right, come on. Man. I keep looking over, make sure the game or the engine isn't freaking out. All right, I got a weird little symbol up there. Can you guys see that? Good. All right. Uh, uh, shoot. Okay, so maybe am I gonna get a weapon? Interact, toggle flashlight, equip use items, examine. So Q is examine. R is zoom view. Okay. That sounds like uh the menu uh sounds from Silent Hill. Uh, The Wrath of God, an old novel by. Keegan B. Hill subtitle reads, The Perfect Punishment for an Imperfect Soul. Okay. Here, if all the uh, text is going to be on that side, then let me do this really quick. Properties, let's flip you. There we go. Ha ha! Wee! There we go. Yeah, now you guys can read stuff. Uh, No flashlight yet. Okay, that sucks. Sweet. <laughs> okay. Okay. Got some paintings on the wall. Looks nice. A random antler. Got a shotgun shell. And the shotgun. Nice. Okay, looking good. Uh, let's check out the rest of the house. So this is in the Unreal Engine, uh, as you can tell by the super shiny floors. That look wet. <laughs> Cute, I like the little teleporty sound. So uh, you're not really going to keep water off your floor if your shower curtain is this far away from your tub. Smells horrible. 
I wonder if anything died in here. It's your house, bro. Jesus. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> the same painting or picture that's in there. Uh, I like these paintings. Uh, they seem dark, but they're in fact very calming. All right, basement's locked. Uh, chain seems to be stuck. Need to pry it open. Okay, so you need to find something pr to pry with. Gotcha. Seems like a weird door to have inside that leads to the kitchen. One with, like, windows on it. Seems very odd. I'm not trying to shit on this. Just, like, I'm just questioning... Like, the level layout in, I don't know, construction and design choices that the developer is using. <laughs> and I actually like the color scheme in here. It reminds me of, like, a retro, like, 19, like, late 50s, early 60s style. It's kind of cute. I like it. Uh, don't you use that at the moment? Okay. That is a huge tire swing. <laughs> this is massive. So one thing that I pointed out numerous times in these games is that you need to like they need to be aware of how big they represent the character. Because like in here, I felt you know pretty normal. I was like, all right, the couch is kind of big. Maybe I'm a little bit smaller. But then like this tire swing is fucking huge. Like, how big am I? Like, that would be huge for a child. Okay. I hear a puppy. Uh, no jumping, so I can't jump up there. Worf, worf, worf. Worf. Who the fuck is Borfin? Nope. Not, not that. Fuck. I didn't mean to click that. I probably have no ammo. However, am I going to kill the monster that eventually comes out? Uh, Alright, so I'm looking for something to pry with. Uh, not in there. How about, like, sink? No. Cannot ride while, sh while shotgun is equipped. Okay, so how do I... There we go. Neat. What? <laughs> what? All right. Ah, the TV's on. What else is different? Ah, I hear a buzzing. Uh, keep the time dead on. Keeps the time dead on. Alright. But the thing on the screen said, I've got this. Oh, hey. Okay. What are you? But uh, somebody broke something. Take a look around. Is it at the back door? Ah, fuck. My oven's on. Somebody broke one of my cute little plates. Was it Twitchy? Twitchy do it? Yeah, let's. So I can't even turn that off. All right. Make sure it'll stay on, oven. Can I turn the TV off at least? No. Okay. I 
Again, you're going to get water everywhere if you have your shower curtain that far away from your tub. My vision was staticky for a second. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I mean, this is already, this is already like a million times better. There we go. Than the original demo. I still just have a few little, whoa. Maximum capacity reached. Can't carry any more of this item. I don't even know what I picked up, though. Yeah, this is already like a million times better. Ow. Than uh, the original demo. I said a few little... God, buddy. Did he's... Did he poke my eyes out? Is that what happened? <laughs> All right, uh, Mike, cut to that part again. Okay, so I'm back. Back to that point, at least. Uh, I thought that was going to be like a poofer or something. So let's see who was banging on my goddamn door. Uh, am I out? Oh, am I out of ammo? I am. Alright, let's just... I can't even close the door. Alright. Guess I'll just ride my swing. <laughs> I wonder if that's the end of the demo. No, like the original Mad in Heaven... ...demo had an ending. So there's got to be one for this one. Is there a crouch button? No. There's got to be something. Uh... Okay, what if I hide in here? I'm so confused. I hate bright lights. Better keep this shut. Oh, the curtain. Okay. Ugh, come on, buddy. Is there anything past you? Come on, stop. Stop. Oh. Mm. Oh boy. All right, let's try one more time. Come on. So what am I supposed to do? Like, is this really the whole demo? It's just guy shows up, pokes my eyes out. Like, is there anything hidden on the floor I need to see? Are you fuck like... The only thing I can think of is maybe I need to shoot the chain out.
I, oh my god, I don't even know. Alright, let's... And I guess that little thing down there is my health. Yeah, that's okay. So that's my health. Got it. So what the? F <laughs> like what? Hey, there we go. What? What? <laughs> Am I in Silent Hill? Am I in the Rust World now? All right, I guess that's the end of the demo. <laughs> All right, everybody, so that was the uh, Madden Heaven Kickstarter demo. If you want to check out their Kickstarter, link's in the description. Um, yeah, that was a treat. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys next time with whatever I do. Love you.